Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing another pocket letter using the Maggie Holmes Flourish Digital Collection. You guys really liked the last one I did, so I thought it would be fun to share another one. Just a moment ago, I was showing you all of the little sequins and sugar bits that I'm going to be using. Some of these are from my stash, and then some of them I received in that little sequin box that was on the screen there a moment ago. Um, I got those from my friend Alice. So she's in New Zealand. She gets them from her local Japanese store but I did do some digging and found some online so I will link those down below in case you're interested in a similar little sequin storage solution isn't it so freaking cute I love it so much and also Alice is starting a YouTube channel so I will leave a link to it down below as well as her Instagram definitely go check her out she's amazing so yeah so I'm just working on this little shaker pocket I think the colors of pink are so pretty in there and I love the pops of blue because it ties in the blue cards and then you guys know I'm all about that gold life, so I had to add in some gold sequins too. And I'm just using my fuse tool to seal that up. You guys know that I really like to seal up the front side and the back side. And speaking of my fuse tool, it seems like whenever I make a video using it, I get several questions um, from you guys about like if mine works properly or you guys are telling me about issues you're having with yours or just kind of struggles that you guys are having with the fuse tool. So if you are interested in me doing kind of like a troubleshooting tips and tricks how to use the fuse tool kind of like tutorial video, definitely let me know down in the comments and I can try to make that happen for you guys. Okay, so here I'm just starting to work on my little cards and I'm just layering up some of these die cuts that I created. So I did mention I am using the Maggie Holmes Digital Collection. So what I did to prepare for this stash was, is I pulled a ton of those digital elements from the Digital Collection into Silhouette, resized things, and then cut them out on, I think, matte photo paper. So if you guys are interested in knowing the, like, the machines I use or the type of paper I use or anything like that I do have it listed down below so definitely go check that out if you want to get the same matte photo paper I use or you guys are interested in getting the same printer or whatever you want to do I do have all that info linked for you guys down below to check out so definitely if you have questions check down there because usually I've tried really really hard to link all the things for you guys sometimes I like mess up and I forget something but if you check down below and something's not listed or I did forget something um, just ask me and I will update the description and respond back to you and stuff so I do try really hard anyway to respond to comments um, I think if you've been here for a while you know that sometimes it does take me a few or several days to like get back to people but I do try to answer all the comments yeah, so if you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, constructive criticism, video requests, um, things you want to see more of or less of or whatever, definitely hit up the comments and let me know because I want to I want to make videos that you guys want to see, right? I mean, obviously I'm going to make stuff that I want to make and share what I want to share, but it could be a win-win and you guys could see the stuff you want to see too, right? So I think that's that's kind of the goal here <laughs> with the whole YouTube thing. Um, this glittered rosette, I do have a tutorial video on how to make those. They are super easy and this quail one is giving me life. I think it's so adorable and so fun. And actually, I really like how this particular pocket letter came out. Um, I love all the colors and everything, obviously, because the collection is beautiful. But I just, I really enjoy it. I think it's so pretty and I love the different colors. Like, I love how there's the blue and then like the yellow lemons and the lots of pops of gold, which is always my favorite. Um, you might have noticed that little butterfly had like a gold foil center. I actually did that myself and I do have a tutorial on how to easily add gold foil to handmade die cuts or ephemera or paper pads or journal cards. You can do it on any kind of paper. So I will link that down below in case you want to gold foil all the things, but you don't have to have like a laminator or a laser printer or anything like that. So it's super easy and pretty much anyone can do it, I feel like. This card is really cute. I love that little bunny and it says so cute. How funny is that? But he's really adorable and yeah, so I'm just trying to use up some of these little phrasey stickery things too and a bunch of those tickets. And here you can see that I'm going to go ahead and start adding my jemmies. Now in the last pocket letter I did all of the one color of jemmy or rhinestone or pearl or whatever all 
for the whole pocket letter all at once. For this one, I kind of forgot that that was my plan. Um, so I'm kind of doing one card at a time for this one. And I'm kind of bummed out because it was so much quicker the other way. But I did remember on this one to leave the cards out of the pocket, which also makes it go quicker. So I failed <laughs> on doing all the jemmies at once, but I remembered to leave the cards out of the pocket so that I wouldn't have to like put them in and then pull them back out and then put them back in and all that. So. Yeah. And I didn't add any extra um, pearls or anything to that little quail card because the embellishment already had three of them on there. So I figured that was fine. Although, it, I don't know, it kind of bugs me now because there's not like a black one or a pink one on there. But it is what it is at this point. And I'm just adding another little ticket thing to cover up the fuse tool line. I had done that before and I really liked how it turned out. And then this is a big chipboard like banner thing so I'm just gonna put that on the top I think it's fun and I did my same little glue trick with this vellum piece where I put the glue on there set it aside to dry and then once it's dry it's tacky it dries tacky and then it will stick on there perfectly and I did have to remove the little phrase over that rose uh, that's okay I think it's still super cute and to decorate the side of the pocket letter I'm using some of my favorite gold foil like speckly washi tape and I think it's so pretty I'm so sad that this roll is almost gone but it's so beautiful like I couldn't not use it right so here we go I'm gonna show you guys what I'm putting in here so I made this little like card I guess with a little tab for my note for this one, I'm going to include a little baggie of some tickets and little phrasey things from the collection to share. This is a leftover sequin mix that I had from last month and the colors went, so I thought now would be fun to include. For this pocket, I'm including some Dollar Tree jemmies that I do have a video on how to package those up really easily. There's my shaker pocket. I thought it was kind of boring and plain, so I added another butterfly die cut. I'm including a little baggie of some Maggie Holmes sticker book stickers for my friend. And for this pocket, I'm including some chipboard flowers because I struggle to use them, so I have no problem sharing them. Um, a white bow, and then for this one, it's just a couple of giant paper clips that I packaged up super cute. So this is the finished pocket letter. So right now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to package it up. It's very similar to the last one. So I just wrapped it up with some vellum and a handmade embellishment, tied up with some cute mint like Baker's Twine, and that is it. And don't forget, if you want to receive fun, happy mail projects like this from me to you, definitely consider joining my crafty club. I will leave a link to it down below. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!